Hey, it's John and Mike, brew-dudes.com, and we have an experimental smash beer. Well, brewed with experimental hops. Uh, this one is for anchovy hops. Somebody at the marketing department is having, is they're having a gas with us, I think. Um, so, of course, I, when I saw these uh, as a part of the 2023 uh, harvest from Yakima Valley Hops, I had to grab myself a two ounce package of this. This is uh, uh, 12, 12.0% uh, 12, 12 alpha acids, a two uh, ounce pack to make a one gallon smash beer. We only use an ounce of these hops for the one gallon smash beer, but just enough to uh, get uh, uh, an understanding of the profile of the hop in the one gallon batch. And if you've watched these before, you know that I start off with two pounds of two row raw malt and uh, mash that with two gallons of water um, around 150 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour, boil for an hour, add hops at different uh, stages. Uh, this time I added in uh, seven grams at uh, 60 minutes ago in the boil and then I uh, added, uh, we, we added uh, another seven with uh, 20 minutes ago, another seven, I, I chilled down to that uh, 180 degrees Fahrenheit to let it stand for 10 minutes. And then at the end of fermentation, we added the last seven grams of hops. Um, and then I actually cold crashed this. So we uh, fermented for a week at uh, room temperatures. And then after the end of that, uh, I added another seven grams of hops of so right from this package into the fermenter and then let that crash for a week. And then we kegged it up just a few days ago. So uh, what is your, do you, do you get any salted fish out of this? What's going on? I hope not. No. I hope not. <laughs> um, I get like, there's definitely um, a lemon-like aroma coming off of it. And there's like a, even the aroma, it's almost like a candied, like um, a lemon candy. Mm. Um, and the flavor is almost identical. I get, so I get in there somewhere almost like a vanilla-like note. Maybe it's more like a coconut note, but it's lemon and it's like, um, it's almost like lemon curd. Hmm. Like, you know, that type of thing. Not super tart, but like just yeah. a lemon, like a lemon curd that you would use for making desserts. Um, that's what I get. There's definitely some sort of coconut, tropical, um, almost vanilla-like quality on it. And then the rest of it is like that lemon, like sweet lemon. Not zesty, just like lemon fruit. Yeah. Not a strong thing off of the um, the aroma on the beer. Um, when I was sniffing the uh, pellets, there was more of a minty uh, yeah. note off of that. Um, but yeah, the beer, certainly I think you've nailed something with candied. Yeah. And um, yep. Some uh, some pithy after in the aftertaste. Um, can't really say. It's kind of unique. Yeah, it's definitely it's something that uh, I've I don't think any other smash we've done on the program has uh, uh, aligned with this. Uh, would you like to know what others are saying? I can only imagine after <laughs> naming it anchovy <laughs> that <laughs> what what other type of strange sure. descriptors they've come up with. Sure. So I'll give you a little history. Anchovy is a new experimental variety from Seagal Ranch in Lower Yakima Valley. Um, there was, <laughs> it was given the controversial name Anchovy by Matt Storm and Brian Strump from the Fash, Fast Fashion Brewing Company in Seattle. Okay, so they sponsored an acreage, so I guess they get to, to name it. Probably the same way like Greenland was named so people would stay away and Iceland was named. Anyway, um, they describe it as watermelon hard candy, raspberry, and pine. No. Yeah, I, um, nope. I think that there may be a little pine in the aftertaste with that pithiness. There's but, pithiness for sure. But uh, I didn't get a lot, there's not a lot of strong aroma coming off the beer. No. And I can understand watermelon, it has that unique, weird, like, roundness type like the same yeah. type of sensory experience you get when you're like smelling some vanilla or something but uh, to me it's lemon it's citrus i mean 
I feel bad for these hop breeders and these hop marketers because they're just trying to all the, the amount of time that goes into breeding one of these and having to grow one to commercial scale. Um, you've got to find a way then to differentiate in the marketplace. But let's be honest, most of these hops have hints of citrus and pine and pith in them. And then you, you dig in deep and try to find those other flavors, you know, or maybe on a good day. And maybe on a good day, they got watermelon or whatever, what, any one of these hops we've done, right? But I don't really get watermelon. It's all... Yeah, watermelon would be more earthy to me, you yeah. know? Like, if you really just kind of break it apart, you know? Because um, there's like a little tang there, I guess. Yep. But like, back with earth and, and so on. But but then that's like also that, that melon thing. And I yeah. don't... To me, it's like when you um, take a lemon head candy and you first, when you first uh, tasting it, you get all that the sourness uh, yeah. and the lemon. But once that outer coating's gone, you're left with just that bland, sugary pellet. This is somewhere in between like the lingering <laughs> lemon and then that just that sugary sweet Stage pellet. Two. That's what I'm getting yeah. at. Which is why I'm sort of tricking my mind into thinking something vanilla-esque. And that, that's where the candy concept comes mm -hmm. from for me. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not a watermelon Jolly Rancher by any stretch of the imagination. No. Because that, that's yeah. a pretty pungent thing. Yeah. I could understand if you wanted to say fresh, like, underripe watermelon that you smell like you crack it open and smell it. Like, it's really more of that, like, real-life watermelon, not no, candy the, watermelon. The artificial, yeah. 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 There's no raspberry whatsoever in this. No, I wouldn't say so. Yeah. Raspberry is distinct for sure. Yep. And subtle. Yeah, no, well, that's true. Um, um, but it's tasty. I mean, this on a hot summer day, this yeah. beer itself would be It'd fine. Be awesome. It's bright. Mm -hmm. It's citrusy. It's what you want. Dumping a load of this into like a nice wheat beer or maybe yeah. making some sort of American version of a Belgian vit with this hop mm. would be really pretty nice. <laughs> I just can't get over the anchovy name. You know, I'm sure people are going to be like, why are they... Uh, Room <laughs> with small uh, cans. This is the type fish. of thing where it gets a lot of sales in the beginning. So, you're like, oh my gosh, anchovy. Let's try it. And then, once people have it, then no one, then it'll just fade away, right? Yeah. We'll the, see. The novelty will wear off pretty quickly. Totally. Quick. That's funny. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm not a hop marketer. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't talk to me. About Nor am I like a large scale hop um, buyer either. You know, hey, okay, I, I splurge for two ounces and I think I'm a high roller, right? Um, all right. So, I guess that's our review of anchovy hops in this smash beer hopefully you enjoyed it check it out i i'm, I'm sorry to say when i was looking at the uh the yakima valley hop site it is currently out of stock or at least uh <laughs> the uh two ounce version that i got is out of stock i wonder why i'm sure you know it was probably the same reaction that i had which was hey that looks weird let me get some of that and uh you know i'm sure that if you look today um, you're not going to find it, but maybe, you know, 2024, uh, they'll have it back in stock. Who knows? Maybe mm -hmm. some other providers out there on the internet have anchovy hops for your purchasing power needs right now. Um, let us know what you think. Did, did this live up to your description? Did you have other ideas when you saw the title of this video? Let us know in the comments below. Um, uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to our channel because we do this kind of thing every single week. For John and Mike, BrewDashDudes.com, uh, anchovy on. Cheers. Cheers.